فلا Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to make this simple yet beautiful mechanism in Fusion 360 assembly workspace. So this video will again focus on developing your beginner's skill uh, as far as the assembly department is concerned in Fusion 360. So I'm not considering any particular dimension or standard. I will just uh, I have just assumed all the dimension. So as you guys can see. Uh, here uh, there is a the orange part is which is the fix and two the blue blocks will um, uh, you know the will slide over these pockets so and the uh, the pink bar is actually the handle the person will rotate the handle and that's why uh, the block will slide ac accordingly so those guys who are interested in 3d printing they can easily 3d print this model uh, with of course some little bit changes because i am just demonst uh, demonstrating you how to make this particular mechanism without any uh, tolerance limits etc so that's all in the engineering department so i'm just showing you how to make this assembly. so switch to work new workspace we will start by making the base so switch to workspace and oh let's say go to create and a box on the bottom plane draw a rectangle of uh, basically a square of say 250 and for the next to switch on the next plus tab and 250 and you may press enter now for the extrusion extrude it upwards towards the height area and let it be like uh, as again I am not assuming any dimension operation is new component and press ok so if you are uh, um, uh, want to if you want to know how to how this automatically got purple color so just press shift and and, and fusion will automatically assign a color to each and every new component which we insert so if i just press shift and n you guys can see now it's in the default color and if i just press shift and n and shift and n again this, this will automatically give a color so for example like in this assembly what i am using the default color toggle option for example if i just press shift and n it will automatically get back to the default appearance so this is the one of the best thing that i like about fusion 360 you don't have to uh, care about anything and also the best thing is uh, it will automatically assign the color which which, which was uh, color on the command which was responsible for that particular component to be made so once done now i'm going to make this slotted uh, at the plus sign in the top of it so for that uh, press l for line draw a line like this a vertical one and a horizontal one now give the symmetric constraint i'm just making it in the middle of the plane like this and now draw two rectangles one like this and another one like this and again make this rectangle symmetric to the center line like this select all these edges and select the center line now press d for dimension now press d for dimension and give this a dimension of say 30 mm again i am just assuming so let's make it uh, 40 and for this also press d and this let's make this 40 and finish the sketch now again go to extrude i am going to make the extrude cut here so select all these profiles like this and extrude it say up to a distance of 30 mm i think the 30 seems to be okay now once done i will make this block uh, these two uh, block which will be sliding across that so for that create a component and click on this face press r for rectangle from this point to this point it will automatically snap so you don't have to the, give the height I will just provide it with the uh, the front to back length so let's make it 45 yeah I think 45 is okay okay let's make it 50 yeah 50 and finish this sketch now extrude it up to a distance of less uh, a little bit higher so you can see easily moving it uh, across the channel and make sure it is new component and you can see as I selected the new component it fusion automatically assigned a pink color to it and if I just press OK, you can see that this extrude one belongs to the pink color and pink color belongs to this body. And you, yeah, of course on the tree also. 
now for the second part now again uh, what I am going to do is press C for circle and right in the center here draw a circle of let's say 10 mm diameter and again I am just assuming any dimension let's make it a little bit bigger say 20 and finish this sketch and extrude this and the operation would be joined let's say 25 is okay now once done what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, just revert back the position. You can uh, anytime move it and just revert back the position. Now I'm going to make a copy of the component. Right click on the component tool and click copy and unsaved on the uh, right click on this and there is an option for paste and paste new. So the difference between paste and paste new actually I have already posted a video on that uh, maybe a year ago so you guys can check that out. Basically uh, if I just simply select the paste option what if it will do so example let me just select the paste option it will ask me to move just keep it like here and press ok now I have selected the simple paste option now what it will do suppose that this was our mother component the component 2 so what I am going to do if I just extrude it suppose that I make I am making any random changes you guys can see it will automatically be reflected on the other component but still this is a completely uh, uh, another component now you can use it in the separate assembly part but it is it's still uh, linked with the first component so any changes that we will make in the first component will be applicable to this component so if I just uh, uh, if I just if I had selected the paste new option what it will do it will just break the link and it will don't it will not have any link with the mother part so this is how the paste and paste new work now we have two different components one is here one is here now what I'm going to do is uh, let's sit, uh, make it uh, here only so now just now so now I'm going to make the the bar uh, this bar so for that I, I will just make a sketch on any plane you want I'm just making a a random sketch so for the circle let's see I will go to slot so no, no go to slot go to center to center slot and draw a slot like this uh, a random one and give the dimension the CD suppose that uh, let's say the CD is 90 and the distance between this the, the diameter actually of the slot let's just be 50 mm or let's make it 30 a slight bigger would be good and let's make this as 120 for this seems to be too small now once done draw a circle of 20 here and draw a circle of 20 mm here uh, let's make it 40 and make this as 150 and once done you may finish the sketch now click on extrude and extrude it like this up to a distance of 10 mm I think 10 seems to be okay and new component now once done actually I forget to make us uh, one thing actually I need to uh, increase the, uh, the length from here so for that just increase the length any random direction it would be nice so so just increase it uh, just like I am doing I am again I am not taking any particular dimensions so let's make it till here and join these two points I just and finish the sketch now for that just extrude it extrude this part particularly and press on ok now again press a C for circle and somewhere here draw a circle like this basically what I'm doing I will just show you tell you in a minute so this is going to be our handle so now I am just giving uh, some radius here this seems to be okay and for this and now. now once our design is complete uh, now I am going to be uh, move forward with the assembly so for that the first thing that needs to be done is the component one just right click on it and click on ground and you may capture the position 
now I can move this, I can move this, I can move this, but not this because this is grounded. So now I'm going to make this uh, uh, give the sliding motion in this way and this needs to be rotated because um, you know it will move along its length not its width. So for that click on join command capture the position and as, as I am making the <coughs> slide command so I will what I will do is I will tell the fusion that this particular edge will slide on this particular edge of the uh, the grounded component so I'm going to snap you can snap the this point this point or basically I it best to snap the middle point so snap the middle point of this rotate it and snap the middle point of this now once done click on motion and type the motion as slider make sure the axis is the your desired one and you may animate it like this and press ok now if I just try to move you can get see it's moving now for the repeat the same step for this uh, remember uh, we will slide it across the lens so this face and this face now as you can see it's on the other side basically so if you just scroll down there's an option for flip so once flipped actually uh, just rotate it like this uh, 180 degrees and the motion is slided you may check animate and press ok now this can be slided across this way so next step is to uh, join these two so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rotation uh, link between this pin and this hole and this pin and this hole so for that click on join capture the position and snap the top face of this point to this point and the motion type will be revolute and press ok now for the repeat the same step for this snap this to this and the revolute type will be join and press ok now as you guys can see if I just try to rotate this it will move across this apart from that uh, as, as you guys have seen that I have assumed all the dimensions so let me just increase the the dimension let's say 150 in on this side 150 on this side 150 on this side and Let's say 150 on this side. Now, if I just move to, to the top view and try to rotate this, you guys can see it. What I it will what is what it will do? It will actually slide across the uh, the planes. So basically, I'm again repeating. I have assumed all the dimension. So if you guys can uh, just is this video is just to make you guys understand the basic concept. And there is two things which you can do uh, to animate it. Just any of the revolute joint, right click on it and click on animate model. So what it will do, it will create a, a continuous loop of that animation. Now another uh, way is to go to assembly and create a motion study table. I have already made, made a video on how to make the motion study in Fusion 360. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel thank you and have a nice day